All right, so RJ Melendez, before this recent four-game stretch, two minutes over six games. Last four games, 37 minutes. Now, all of his points against Purdue are in garbage time, right? But you give him that, you're given that garbage time, and he did something with it. And Brad Underwood also just threw him out on Jaden Ivey in the first half. And I, I've, I've been interested, Brad Underwood, the, the game against Northwestern, you're down five. And you just throw Brandon Podjemski and RJ Melendez in. It's kind of like the sink or swim, right? And give those guys credit. Luke Goody against Michigan State did this too. They have sw- they swim, right? They, they doggy paddle sometimes, but they find a way to stay above water and, and help their team. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, Mike, 10 being ridiculously excited, how excited should Illini fans be about RJ Melendez right now? 11. I, I mean, <laughs> and, the reason, and the reason why, and I, I don't want to just be like, drinking the Kool-Aid here, but he, he is somebody that this team has not had. And when I say that, it's a six seven guy that can shoot it, athlete, great in transition, can guard. Who's the last Illinois player that's been like that? Um, you know, it, it's, it feels like it's been a long time since there's been that type of guy. Like, he is a guy that is you projected out. The way his game is so polished, he can score the heck out of the ball. You see him come in to the Missouri game and Dude, that is just not easy. Like you've been sitting all game, you're cold, you're, you're like, your fingers are cold, your feet are cold. And like, he's just a, he looks like just kind of a natural born scorer who can get to where, get to the spots, right? He gets to his spots and um, there should be a lot of excitement around this kid. And, and that's not to say, Hey, now, now hold him in regard of like an NBA lottery pick. Cause I do think down the road, he projects as an NBA type player. He can handle it, right? He can shoot it. And I'll show some stuff in the film. He may be the best defensive rebounder Illinois has. I, I truly said when it's, when it comes to really going and getting it, it is like, he has some defensive rebounds and he had one in the second half against Purdue where I literally was like, Whoa, I turned, I turned to Joey and gave him like, wow. Cause it's been a while since we've seen a guy just go sky and grab it and he can run it up there if he needs to, right? Like it's, there's flashes of, of brilliance there, but he plays like a freshman sometimes, which should be expected. Yeah, and I think, I think the next step for him, and he's shown that he is willing to stick his nose in there, but on a Brad Underwood team, it's just, hey, you, you always got to be willing to do the tough stuff all the time. And I think a lot of times that's the biggest transition for freshmen, any freshman. Um, that's the hardest thing. Like, whoa, if I want to get on the court, it's not just about putting the ball in the basket. You know, it's not just about flying around getting rebounds. Like, if you, you have to do those tough things, and these freshmen will come along and, and continue to do those things. And RJ Melendez, seriously, like he, I think Brad Underwood mentioned, and the word that you can use is like he's he's going to be a star. Like he is, he's going to be a star. Um, and I, I think drinking the Kool Aid, I love it. I just I just think with the when you look at this team yeah. and what they could potentially lose, I man, to be able to have a guy like RJ Melendez, who, you know, and I know there were a lot of people that were excited about Coleman Hawkins. And I know he's had a rough go of it. And I've said it before, it's not an easy position to be in. Um, but having a guy like RJ Melendez who can soften the blow of some departures, then, you know, you go out and you go to the transfer market, whatever, and then a lot of these guys develop. He's a guy that I, I truly believe you're going to see, he may end up this year playing six minutes a game, right? But that's, that is going to skyrocket. It may end up skyrocketing towards the end of the season, the more that he gets confident. Because if you see Brad Underwood, putting that guy in. It's the same thing with Billy Donovan and Iowa DeSumo. If you see him putting a freshman in on Jaden Ivey, there is a lot of trust there. And there's a lot that that coach likes. And I think it's for good reason.